So, I had been keeping an eye on this game uh, to see when the demo would go live, and here we are. It went live on Steam. Uh, I was planning mm -hmm. on... I've been planning on doing this one for a hot minute, but it just... We just never really got around to it. You know, story of our channel. <laughs> yeah. But either way... It's a side hustle. We like it, though. Yeah, we have fun doing this. And yeah. this is Demonstration, and this is Hack and Slime. Uh, I just thought this game looked cute, and I wanted to give it a try. So here we are. I don't really know what the premise of this game is. So all I know is every time you move the menu, it, I just I think you're opening the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> oh God, yeah, that little, that yeah, I thought I loud. thought it sounded like that. Oh, yeah. let's see, Don Pettiton, Pettiton, how do you pronounce Don that? Don Pettiton. Pettiton. You uh, petition. You <laughs> yeah, but Don, 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 Don Petticoat. Did, yeah, Don Petticoat. There we go. You want to give him... Good want... morning, Corrid. It's a beautiful day to become the hero of Humble Village. As long as you manage to keep your head on your shoulders. I know you grew up here, but since you have a short memory, I'm going to remind you how all this works. This is the Consistatory. Here, you can check important information about your adventure, from the active missions to how to use a sword. This is your home. Here, you store all the objects you find in Warp Mason. You can sell the ones you don't want to kickstart our economy. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, I just got flashbacks. Kickstart our economy. I, I just got flashbacks to Disco Elysium. Keep the <clears throat> keeps our goods flowing, officer. This is the smithy, and you can repair and improve your equipment. This place also works as a store where you can sell everything you don't need. <clears throat> this is the tavern where you can replenish your energy with local gastronomy and prepare for your adventure with the money earned from the dungeon. From the dungeon to the people. This is the instructor. If you want to learn how to fight monsters, there's no one like him. He's been here since the town was founded, or even before. The important thing is that he will instruct you for free. This is the sanctuary, where you can pray to the gods to grant you gifts on your adventure. I don't like this site because it has tax advantages. We're going to have to legislate again. This is Warp Mason, the world's first mega dungeon. Look at it, boy! It's full of all kinds of treasures and valuable artifacts. It is the most beautiful thing I've seen in my life. At the entrance, there is a very strange bug who is in charge of receiving the heroes who arrive. I suppose he validates their parking ticket. Hmm. When you're ready, go talk to him. How, how much is the parking fees, though, considering it might be a ramp? Like, is there a valet tipping thing? Is tipping a thing in this world? You know, I, I wouldn't worry about that. The bug doesn't have any rights. He is, at best, a third-degree citizen, like, very far removed. He doesn't pay taxes, so if you want to pay me a fee, I guess a couple, a couple copper, maybe sell something to the smithy. I seem quite interested in that. Uh, I don't I don't know. I feel bad for the bug. Like, maybe maybe just give him enough that I wouldn't miss. He could get himself a slice of pizza or something. I don't, I don't know. I mean, better to the bug than the gods, right? True enough. Okay, so tavern. Okay, that's not that. There we go. Okay, so vitality. Do I have any skill points? Doesn't look like it. No. It says you got one, but you have to go to the instructor. S assign them to. Oh, oh. Wait, so I have to go to the instructor to assign them? Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Let's see. Hyper Dash, a swift forward charge that rips through enemies dealing damage. Uh, Tavim Skin permanently increases armor. Lower the blacksmith prices to upgrade equipment. Huh. I'm gonna go with the dash. Uh, you do like dashes, yeah. I do like my dashes. Da dashes are quite a 
nice uh, thing to have in a video game. Actually, can I reassign that? I'm, I think I might want that on right bumper, or left, or left bumper, I mean. There we go. Uh, let's check. So this is essentially where you learn your lore and your... Okay. Okay. And Black's... Oh, it's a... Oh, she's a cutie! Aww. <laughs> Honestly, getting, like, Josie and the Pussycat vibes for some reason. Yeah. Let's see. Ma'am, sorry. Ma'am, sorry. Ma'am, sorry. I mean, ma'am, sorry. Ma'am, sorry. Beer, I mean, ma'am, sorry. Beer, ma'am, sorry. Beer, ma sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I don't think you'll be maidenless in this town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... You make donations, and then you get these boosts. Okay. And what is at the house? Just your storage. Okay. All right. Got a good layout. Let's go see the bug. Oh, he's adorable. Look at him. That is not a bug. That is a goblin with a nose ring. Look at him. He's so cute. I mean, I agree, but that is not a bug. This is not what I was promised. Just plays elevator music. Yeah. Okay. The freaking chest explodes. Okay, and the da the dash is on a cooldown. Scepter Danado. What is that? Danado. Um, find a way to pick it up, I guess. Hit all the face buttons. Oh, okay. So those pretty much refill. So you don't like have it consumable items. Because that. That health potion was used immediately. I don't know why you're not able to pick that thing up, though. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm hitting all the face buttons. Odd. Okay, not gonna be too concerned about it. Yeah. Naga archers. I don't attack. I don't activate them by attacking them. Is there? Use the bumpers. Oh yeah, let's look at the controls. Not nah, just. Okay, that. That wasn't what I thought it would be. Hmm. Odd. Oh well, I'll, I'll look at. I'll go back to town and look at it again to see what I might have missed. I mean, I might have missed it uh, by a completely obvious standpoint, and I just overlooked it. Although, considering that this is a roguelite... Yep. Alright, what was that? Uh, let's see. Active ability, inventory, crouch, accept on menu, entering doors, pick it... Okay, it's up on the D-pad. Just... Ah... Uh. Found... Okay, I see now. My bad, I just did not see that. I just blinded that really badly. That's alright. I'm getting Major Zelda 2 vibes from this. Also, this isn't a roguelike, because that chest was... Uh, still open. But yeah, I'm getting Major Zelda 2 vibes, and I'm, and I'm saying that in a complimentary way, mind you. Oh, yeah. Like, if Zelda 2 was good. <laughs> Oh, you cannot tell me that's a hot take. I mean, it's not a hot take, but it's a take that's... It's not a take that's hot, but it's certainly one that has, um... 
Why am I not... I'm hitting up on the D-pad and I'm not collecting it. Hit every direction on the D-pad. I'm... Maybe use your joystick? No, I did. That's what I did, too. Mm. Hmm. Odd. Oh, a Mimic. Hello. A mimic. Well, that was easy. That was... Gain enhanced. Alright, well, this game's cute. I f yeah, I thought as much. I figured, like, could I use that dash in midair? And yeah, I was right. Right. Yeah, this game's cute so far. I like it. Yeah, the dash actually does damage. That's pretty cool. I tested that earlier, and it and it turns out that's that works. Good to know. I, is it not implemented or anything? Because it says to to pick up items, but I'm not. Hmm. Odd. I mean, I'm not trying to. I don't, I don't want to come off as a as mean in this game. I'm just I'm just saying that I'm I'm trying it and it's not working. Because that worked. Yeah. So. Oh, look at that little bat. Yeah. But yeah, this music uh, for this level in particular is also giving me Zelda 2 vibes. Ooh, you got a level. Uh, let's increase... Minimal dam minimum damage. Oh, I got a lot of attribute points. What? Okay, so maybe you'll be able to get a skill to pick things up at the instructor. Uh Maybe. But if that's the case, then that's very bizarre. Then, like why have a tutorial for it if you're if it's a skill that you gain? In fact, why is it even a skill? Yeah, that should be automatic. Yeah, like, who needs to who needs to learn a skill how to pick things up? I, I I don't know. Maybe this guy only literally only knows how to swing sword. Maybe he's like Conan in some way. Yeah. I'm excited for our tabletop game at the summer trip. I can imagine you are. Yeah, I'm gonna probably literally be playing a barbarian. Yeah, you, you, that would be your character. Jordan the Barbarian. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is probably a strength boost. Okay. Well, so far this is this is nice. Yeah. Just a pretty basic dungeon crawl. Yeah. Not that that's bad. Just Okay, so poo poo water damage. Good to know. Yeah. Because who said breathing in feces wouldn't hurt you? Besides uh I don't know Joe Exotic fans. There we go. Well, there I go. Ooh. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, Blades Tornado. I want to increase my defense. Tougher skin, armor. What's the bag next to it? The bag... It's like the green one. 
That's uh, that's the blacksmith thing. And actually, uh, speaking of, okay. uh, reforge. Let's see, I've got two of those, but I don't have a thousand gold, so yeah, I'm gonna have to hold off on that. Uh, and I can't really. Okay, so all these are like items to give a quick buff. Increase my damage a little bit, and there we are. All right. Let's give this a couple more runs, and then I think that's probably where we can stop. Sounds good. Because I do like this. It's just... Me gets the feeling that this is intentionally uh, a tough dungeon crawler, so I probably won't get very far anyway. Although, yeah, I got the impression that this would be a roguelike... Uh, similar to things like Rogue Legacy, but I guess, I guess not. Yeah. I do like this music, though. It is pretty chill. Again, very Zelda 2-like. And I mean that, yeah. and again, I mean that in a good way. Ew, the poo-poo water hurt me. Bunny hopping. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the damage increase helps a lot. Good. Beautiful, that's a lot of money. And that is energy recharge, okay. And this is... Ooh, death. death trap. jump now. I think they were always able to jump. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a little overwhelmed there. Bet you did. You got swarmed. And yeah, it looks like all the other levels are locked besides the sewers. Or yeah. at the very least, they're blocked off until I unlock them. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I think this will be the last attempt before we end the video. All right. Hmm. I think what would help is also maybe a movement speed increase. Not that the current movement speed is yeah. bad, but main character man moves kind of slow. Yeah. A little Wouldn't slow. Hurt him to be a little quicker. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't have plate armor on, so. Yeah. It's like he can do that later, but right now. Okay. And this... Assimilate knowledge. What? There you go. I have no idea what that really? means. Probably a mana boost. Pro yeah, maybe. Or maybe like a, f or like a faster regen. Of some kind. Well, it did say, like, you can get um, magic attacks with a scepter, so. It seems like the fountains you get get randomized, at least, so that's nice. Yeah, so there are random elements.
All right, I'm just gonna hang out up here and let the melee guys come to me. All right, I leveled up again, sweet. There you go. There we are. All right, and I can do, wow, they give you a lot. Uh, they really do, that's kind of nice. That is. There we go. Actually now making some work out of these guys. Yep. Now the damage is starting to rack up well. The pit and the or the sewers level two. I guess the pit's like a challenge arena. Probably, yeah. So if you were to grind out a level look two, probably not a bad idea to go there. Yeah. Oh, damn. Hey, you, you're a boy. These jerks keep think they can squeeze my magic like a, like I was a bottle of ketchup. Help me. That's why, that's why you're a hero or something like that. That's a, I don't know. That's a lot of enemies. Yeah, what's your LB ability again? A dash. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's enough. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, it just really seemed like a bad. lot. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, handsome. A little more of those scumbags mashed me to. A, a little more in the scumbags mashed me to get the magic out of me. You don't seem very talkative. I like it. My name's Faeron Maiden, and I'm basically the last fairy in all mythos, though I will have time to tell you about my life. So, Korid, you have a mouth... You have a mountable Nordic furniture name. What? A mountable Nordic furniture name. I guess it's an Ikea reference, like maybe there's a chair called a Korid. Maybe. It, whatever joke that is, it flew over my head. I'm sorry. Hey, kid, when these yeah. when these Burks brought me to the cage, I saw how they took a girl through the window, through the door there, back there. Don't you see how she kicked and cursed? What a little mouth. You can't go forward here, and I stole them, and I stole them a key as soon as they got into trouble with you. Since you've played White Knight with these brutes. You could go for the double in the same day and save the wench. Perhaps you will find another way to continue playing the hero without regard for his uh, his life. I go with you. I see in your face that you are one who gets lost even in the bathroom. <laughs> what is sink? Okay. So it looks like I might have to go to the pit anyway. All right. See what this pit's about. Yep. See if it's the uh, Thunderdome, or uh, yeah, or something. What do we got? Oh, hello. Decaps. There we are. Ow. Well, thankfully, spikes aren't an insta-kill. Yeah. 
They are for the enemies, at least. Or they do damage. Well, at least I made it to the pit. Yeah, you were not prepared for the pit, but you made it to the pit. Yeah. Well, this game, this game's cute. I like yeah. it. I could see some improvements that could be made, but overall, not a bad time. It's it's a fun little yeah. dungeon crawler. It really is. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you like this, be sure to give a like on the video. And if you want to suggest to us any demos for games that you want us to take a look at, be sure to sound them off in the comments. So, mm -hmm. yeah. With that said, hope you all had a good time, and see you in the next video. Bye. All right, yeah, bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Open Couch Gaming for more uh, uh, video game antics.